It is a beautiful November day, and what better way to spend the day riding your two-wheeled sleigh? Wait, no, that, that, that wouldn't work with sleigh, because it's, it's a month early. It's still November. We still got Thanksgiving to go. Eh, everybody else is skipping to Christmas, why can't I? Well, the weather's getting colder here in Michigan, and I'm the firm believer of, uh, you can ride in the cold, if there's no snow, it's a go. Just dress a little warmer. Spend the money on nice heated clothing, whatever you want to call it, and go out and ride. Just so long as there's no snow on the ground, or, uh, you know, ice. Cause, uh, yeah, you don't want something bad happening to you and your bike. That would be absolutely terrible. Now, I had somebody ask me the other day, you know, do you ever feel like you get depressed when you just can't go out and ride your motorcycle? For someone like you that rides damn near everywhere they go? And I'm like, uh, you know what, yeah. And, and, you know, he, he said that and it kind of got me thinking. I'm like, you know, does does motorcycles help with depression? And I'm like, God, that's a, that's a great video topic. So I think I'm gonna talk about that. So the main question being, does riding motorcycles or riding in general help with depression? Now notice what I'm saying here when I say, does it help with depression? Not cure, because there's no cure for depression. In my humble opinion, I do believe riding motorcycles helps with depression. Now, I'm sure I speak on behalf of a lot of people when they say life in general, or more specifically, and more in my case, 2024 has kicked me so hard in the metaphorical nuts, and it just, it has not been a good year. Let's just, let's just go with that. It just hasn't been a good year at all. Damn near everything I have done and the moves that I have made has fallen face flat in the mud just to pick myself back up and keep going. How I've done that, I have absolutely no idea outside of getting back on my ride and going for exactly that, a ride. Now, I have been uh, what these Gen Alphas call down bad. I've been down bad for quite a while. I have been, I've been hurting pretty good. My family's noticed it. A lot, just everybody around me noticed it, you know what I mean? I'm blessed and cursed to be one of those people where if I'm having a bad day, the people around me are having a bad day. And if, same thing with the good with the good day. So yeah, it's uh it's it's noticeable when I'm not okay. And I haven't been okay for quite some time. Now I try to be as cheerful and as glass half full as I can with my life because my situation can be better than others. I totally get that, but I'm just I'm just thankful for how I got it. Even though, yes, it could be better, but it sure as hell could be worse. Especially this year, when things started to reach a breaking point. I, uh, I, I got a lot of anxiety. Well, I had a lot of anxiety. And uh, I was really unfamiliar or not really hip to the game as far as how to handle that because I never really went through these situations before where it was getting to the point where it was getting hard for me to get out of bed and keep going. You can only, you know, get your ass kicked in a fight so many times before you can't really just get back up anymore and just keep on swinging. We I mean, need just keep getting knocked the hell out. I noticed myself kind of uh, relying on this motorcycle here when, uh, when things got super, super rough. So I don't want to give you guys a super big woe is me story. That's not what you're here for. I'm here to give you guys, uh, you know, uh, uh, why do I think riding helps lift your spirits with depression and whatnot or even anxiety. You know, I just wasn't a pleasant person to be around. I'm no saint, you know, I'm willing to admit humbly that I am not a perfect person, even though sometimes I like to think that I am for what benefit I have absolutely no idea. But with uh with everything that i had going on karma had caught up to me tenfold for all the dumb stuff that i've done to people with karma snapping back on me the devil had attacked on me that's the best way i can say it man because it could have led me down a very bad path in which it didn't but i often found myself relying on being like you know what i need to go for a ride and just to clear my head when uh, ashwagandha didn't work when talking to people didn't work yeah, I got tired of hearing the same exact thing over and over and over again in which those things made absolutely zero sense. It just didn't click. It didn't resonate. Being behind these bars and traveling these roads up and down and getting out of town and whatnot. I'm, I'm just full of rhymes today, ain't I? But getting out of town and whatnot and, uh, you know, just being behind bars on my bike seemed to be the only thing that helped me out. This may be the only thing that I truly have that lifts my spirits and makes the glass half full, you know what I mean? I don't want to say I necessarily had a way of coping with my depression and anxiety because I didn't truly understand what it was until it reached a breaking point. There was one particular moment where I snapped off 
you know, it popped off at the mouth. I got asked a simple yes or no question by my own mother, and I, I don't know what was my problem that day, but for some reason, it wasn't a smart-ass question. It was a, just a simple yes or no question, and just that alone had me just explode. And my mama never deserved that. Never deserved or deserves that, you know what I mean? You know, I would take a bullet for my mom, my dad, my family, no questions about it. And she, she didn't deserve that, but it was a, at that moment where I realized, I'm like, holy hell, I have got a problem. And, you know, nobody really wanted to, to speak up and say it to me because, you know, they didn't want to hurt my feelings. Or they Like, they can they noticed something was going on. And, yeah, it just got to the point where I was unreachable and I just wasn't myself. I wasn't the rider, man. I wasn't my core self. And, uh... You know, I had to I had to really come to grips with uh, how to handle the situation I was in. And how did I do that? I hopped on my motorcycle and I went for a long ride. I turned off my phone. I just put myself in uh, airplane mode, so to speak. And just, I'm like, I'm just going to go for a ride, cool down. Of course, I apologized to my mom. And she's just like, she even pointed it out to me. She was really the first person that it resonated to me. It was just like, you got a problem and you need to, you need to do something to solve it. Because now you're just out of hand. I'm like... Okay, I'm like, if my own mama's noticing it, my mama has no reason to lie to me about something that serious with her youngest kid, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm forever blessed for that because I don't know if there was anyone else, even in my family, that would have got through to me unless she just told it to me like it was. And I'm forever thankful for that. So when I went on the rides on my motorcycle, I just went on one of my favorite routes and I just took it farther than I'd ever been. And I just kind of shut my mind off for five seconds. That was the pretty much the, 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 the catalyst to fixing and making me realize, you know, what do I got to do to solve this problem? And there was just something about the road being absolutely empty. The only thing that was near me was my motorcycle. It was the only thing I can hear everything. All the anxiety went away. And it was, uh, you know, it was, like I said, it was a huge breaking point that I went through. And it was absolutely, it was well needed. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that can say that, yeah, I go on a ride to clear my mind and whatnot. And, you know, some of us are absolutely blessed to have that option and some of us aren't as fortunate. And when it comes winter time and I got to put the bike away, you know, I'm kind of SOL when it comes to, uh, I need something to clear my mind with that's, you know, not drinking or, you know, something stupid like that. I can go for a ride. I have this to help me, to help me out. This is my therapy. This is my therapist. The road is a great listener, man. The road is, uh, it doesn't judge. It doesn't talk back. It doesn't interrupt you. The only thing that you can hear talk back to you is the response of your motorcycle when you hit the throttle. And sometimes that's all you need. As cliche as that sounds, as tacky as that sounds, sometimes with some very fortunate people who has, uh, I guess, luck on their side, maybe even not luck, but good fortune on their side, they can say that when they go on a ride, it helps with anxiety and depression. We all go through a battle of it at least once or twice in our lives. And now that I've gone through it at least twice now, I can say that, yeah, this definitely helped me out. I hope that you guys, if you're going through something and whatnot, you can't ride and you take solace in my videos, my POV videos, and you know, just the, just the sounds help you out then you know I'm forever grateful for that that's that's what I do this for I do this for you guys and I'm glad to be of assistance to y'all but uh, let me know down in the comments does does riding help you and your anxiety or depression and whatnot uh, do you do you recommend it is there uh, is, is it a favorite route that you take is it a certain motorcycle that you ride that you have and maybe uh, yeah let me know when uh, let me know in the comment section down below and you don't have to be a rider you can be a passenger too sometimes pa hopping on the back of your bike with your man or your woman and whatnot can uh, can be just as therapeutic as it is for the rider itself so yeah let me know uh, your story in the comment section and if you guys enjoyed like the video really helps me out a lot let you guys know what topics to keep going on and yeah if you guys are going through a rough patch right now you know hey somebody out there loves you I love y'all y'all are the MF and riders and as always be safe and ride free support your local veteran I love each and every last one of you son bitches and that's the bottom line because stone esoteric rider cold said so yeah <laughs> uh. I don't know if that was one of my better outros nah I'm gonna leave it in <laughs>